B-roll time. <laughs> it is, huh? <laughs> You likely don't need an introduction to Downingville. It's on the bucket list of places to ride for many. However, I do need to give a little bit of context on exactly how we arrived in Downingville to chase Tony from the Outsider Channel down the Third Divide, the fastest trail here in Downingville. It all started exactly three years ago when I decided to upload my first mountain bike vlog on YouTube. I had little to no clue to what I was doing but I was extremely addicted to mountain biking. And ever since Ellen and I decided to permanently reside in Southern California, I just wanted to ride my mountain bike all over SoCal and possibly share the experience with my family and friends. I honestly had no clue where to ride or how to get there and wasn't really sure if I could 100% depend on trail for it. So the only way I knew how was to type in Southern California NTB trail guide on YouTube and see what comes up. Boom, enters Outsider MTV channel. I was binging Tony's video for months on end until I finally decided that Sky Park was the best place for my wife Ellen and I to begin our mountain bike adventures. And even up till today, I can't really pinpoint exactly what made me want to upload my first YouTube video, but I believe it was heavily influenced by binging the Outsider channel. Fast forward three years later, I was presented with the opportunity to take a mountain biking adventure to Downeyville with Tony from The Outsider. I was lucky enough to sign up for this ride and share the adventure with this wonderful group of people. And looking back, it really was a no-brainer for Ellen and I. <laughs> so we packed our EMTBs and set out for a four-day adventure to Downeyville. But the excitement of this adventure was at all-time high. I've been wanting to ride Downingville ever since Tony put out the Downingville Classic Must Ride for Every Mountain Biker video. We were hyped. Downingville did not disappoint. The instant we got into town, we knew this was going to be one epic time. One for the books. Since we rode Downingville Classic two days in a row, I'm just gonna condense all the best parts into one. We're gonna go at a really cool, mellow pace, plenty of stopping, don't uh, get in over your head or anything like that. I'm not gonna lie, there are some features on the trail. Don't feel like you need to push yourself. We're out there pretty far and I uh, want everyone to come back safe with a cold beverage in hand. Other than that, are there any questions that you guys have for me? I've ridden this trail a few times. Going once, twice, in three times. It's time to ride bikes, you guys. Let's do this. Good looking sticker, Frankie. It I was happy to clean my mark amongst the greats. <laughs> all with the help of Adam Mock, the designer for my new decals. And if you guys need some designing, hit Adam up. This is the first real feature here at the Downeyville Classic, the Gulch. And trust me, it is bigger in real life. We also had a surprise guest rider on the second day of our ride, Joe the Colorado Kid. He was the leader of our pack on the second day of our ride, and he showed us some really cool spots. Such a funny dude. Definitely find him on Instagram or YouTube. It's really worth your time. I remember Tony saying in his video, the real ride starts after the gulch. And every bit of that is true.
This is the infamous waterfall section. Don't be fooled by the GoPro thing. It is pretty damn tricky to navigate through, especially with the water coming down. That's like the ugliest, clean. There it is. Speed is something you can pick up real quick at Downeyville. For many of us, this was the first time riding here at Downeyville. It was such a pleasure getting to know everyone and capturing everyone's ride on my GoPro. But the only drawback was that I tend to forget to slow down and enjoy our surroundings. Woo! Hell yeah! Holy shit! <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Oh, I almost ate it. <laughs> oh, shit. You. The most memorable run for me was on our second day, and for some reason I dropped right behind Tony. All of a sudden I was chasing the outsider down the third divide in Downeyville. It was surreal. If three years ago you told me that you'll get a chance to chase Tony the outsider and make a video about it, I would have said, you're crazy. This was definitely the highlight of my trip.
and even Ellen was able to pick up some speed following me down First Divide. Every post ride hangout here in Downeyville was special. I was able to cook myself a steak for the first night in a little hot pot on the second. The group gathered every night sharing our experiences of the day. We laughed, we celebrated, and we feasted. What a success. This has been one of the best EMTV adventures so far. Everything about Downeyville screams mountain biking. And I couldn't have done all this if it wasn't for picking up that EMTV. To my viewers that are still on the fence, Pick one up and go chase your dreams. And lastly, thank you Tony for putting us all together here in Downeyville on such a memorable adventure. Here's looking forward to another memorable trip next year. Cheers everybody.